Money or romance, and why? Or both? Probably money, yeah. Have a lot of debt. <laughs> Credit card debt. From what? Do you care to elaborate? Well, um, from working as a waitress, trying to be an actress, and not being successful. Okay. Uh, so just trying to pay off the debt. <sighs> well, I mean, money's never been a problem for me. I spin it myself. I spin gold. But when you have... <coughs> I had never felt romance before in my life. Um, except for once. You could say that um, she was the beauty to my beast, I guess, I guess you could say. Um, Why? But between the two... Because I love power. So money is power. But if I have to decide between the two, I'm always torn. But I always seem so to So is she your weakness? Yes. But Why? Also my strength. She's... she's or how is she both? How is she both is because what Belle is, she's... She makes me weak in the sense of... Physically. I'm, like, I'm physically weak in the sense that anybody could use her... And I would have to listen to them because I will save her always. But she's also my strength because I'm a better person when I'm with her. If that makes sense. Would you consider yourself a coward? Yes, I am a coward. Why is that? Well... Because, um, I don't want to die. Okay. I don't, I don't want to die. Okay. For me, definitely money. I don't have time for romance at all, especially during this time of my life. I'm a struggling artist. Okay. What kind of artist? I paint. Okay. A lot of canvases, so I don't get, well, I don't make a lot of money because people don't really buy my art. They don't want to, but, yeah. I mean, I would like to be in a romantic relationship in the near future, but right now, it's not the time. I need to do me. Focus on me. Do you think that'll get in your way? Emotionally, yes, because right now, I know if I were to be in a relationship, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't be emotionally available because I have this wall up. And I've been focusing on myself for so long now. That's why I'm kind of worried mm -hmm. to meet open yourself up and open myself up. Yeah. Someone. Uh, what do you look for in a life partner? Ah, uh, someone who's not stupid. Um. So you want someone intelligent? Yeah. Intellectual, so yeah, someone. Or do you want someone brilliant or genius? Do you want someone street smart or? Head no, smart? I'm I'm pretty street smart. Um. You know, I've dated a lot of shitty guys in the past who cheated on me and are just not very intelligent and have no career prospects. So, you know, now I really want someone who's like you know smart and capable and that I. You that know, could be financially. I mean, a yeah, support? but but. It, I mean, yeah, but it's more just, you know, someone who really balances me well. Okay. Well, um, not that you mention it. I never thought of romance before, actually, until, you know, Belle came into my life. It is, she kind of just snuck up on me. I mean, it, she allowed me to see the light in me that I didn't, I didn't think was there. I'm the dark one. But it's, there was a time where, long story, you're not going to get it, but Belle didn't remember who she was. And she was the exact opposite of the person she used to be. She was more like me. And I enjoyed it, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same person. I want someone that allows me to see the inner light that I don't see. 
kind of like this. They see the diamond in the rough. But where not. did you lose seeing your own inner light? Something in your past? Uh, Someone in your past? Yes. Um, so I, I had a son. Um, his name was Pat. He, um, as of late, passed, but I don't even think he would have liked to have for me to have called him my son. Um, his name was Bellfire. And um, he didn't like the fact that I was the dark one. I had magic and I tried to give him everything he meant. I could, if he wanted money, I could poof money. If he wanted friends, I could, t I could tell him if they were afraid of me, I can make them your friend. I can do whatever I want. I can, if, if, if you're hungry, I can, here's cake. Here, I can conjure anything you need. But he didn't like that I was dark. And so we made this agreement. Um, he had this magic bean that could let us go somewhere without magic. And, but without magic, I'm powerless. I can't do anything. And I told him, um, I, we made a deal. And I said, I would go with him. And to this day, it's the only deal I ever broke. Um, now he's gone and he hates me. And that's really when I didn't see any future besides darkness. Um, for me, I think the most important trait that I would like in my lifelong partner is probably someone that's just genuine and honest and sees me for me and someone that doesn't treat me like a doll or some sort of puppet. What are the circumstances that led to you where you are now? Mm. Well, I went out to LA to be an actress, did that for like eight years, and didn't really do much. Um, so now I'm working as a pharmaceutical sales rep, um, but I'm married, uh, and I don't really enjoy it. Are you also a waitress? Because before you said you were a waitress. I, I'm not anymore, okay. thankfully. God, that was awful. And I was terrible at my job. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so I, but I'm, I'm working as a pharmaceutical sales right now, and I um, don't really like it, but I guess I'll do the adult thing and at least pay off my debt. But, yeah. Honestly, I don't really like to go there. I like to stay a little more on the surface, usually. But. I, was, uh, I, was, I was supposed to fight in the war um, against, in the Enchanted Forest, there were the ogres and the trolls and they were, you know, fighting everyone and I was all gung-ho. You see, my father was a coward and I didn't want to be a coward. I wanted to prove that I wasn't my father. And then when I went there, um, a seer told me, she could foresee the future, that the actions on the battlefield that I would do would leave my son fatherless. And I didn't want to die. So I broke my own ankle so I could leave but because of that so you deserted the war I, yeah I was a deserter and because of that I was known as the coward that my father was and that caused my wife to leave me mm -hmm. and I had to take care of my son on my own which meant that when he turned 13 he was gonna have to serve in the same war mm -hmm. and I had to stop it I, I didn't want to lose him he was the only thing I had left so I had to kill the dark one before to become one myself which I did and I obtained the power that I could finally protect my son. I finally, whereas I got walked over before and people make fun of me and call me a coward, now they had to fear me. Now I was the one that was in control. Now I was the one who could tell everybody what to do. Do you hide behind your power? Yes, actually. And when I had that power, I thought my son was going to be proud. He was no longer the son of the coward. He was the son of a dark one. But that just caused him to go further away, and I'm trying to find him with every bit of, and I tried to find him with every ounce of energy I had, and then I found him, and he didn't, and I sacrificed everything for him, but it pretty much went around in a circle, and I'm still at the same spot. Well, I grew up living a very lavish lifestyle. My parents wanted me to become a surgeon, but I hate medicine. It's not something that I could have been able to do. So I left home at 18, 
I was majoring in art and I've been on my own ever since. I've been working two to three jobs at a time. Just gotta keep myself busy. Well, where do you see yourself in, let's say three years versus five? Ah, gosh, so many deep questions. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm be older, really. Enough of that. Um, I, don't know, I guess having all my debt paid off, good in my marriage, maybe actually living with my husband, like just my husband and no one else, that'd be nice. Uh, Well, three years, Daddy, is um, nothing to me. I'm immortal. I've been around for centuries. But I see myself making deals, collecting as much power as I can. Hopefully three years, people will constantly buy my art. Maybe I'd like to be the head of an art studio someday, and maybe I'll meet someone, be in a relationship. We'll see where life takes me. Would you change yourself for the ones you love? Mm. That's a good question. I was asked so many hard questions. Um, let's see. I mean, I think you always change yourself a little bit, depending on who you're with, hopefully for the better. tried. I've tried to change for Bay. I've tried to change for Belle. But I've accepted that I am the dark one. We're all going to have to live with that. I've accepted the fact that as much as I would like to change, I know I wouldn't. So would you consider yourself someone who always gives up? I like to see it as not giving up more acceptance, but if you're going to use that in the term of giving up, then sure. I'd like to say no, but I know if I meet the right person, of course they're going to have some sort of effect on me and I'm going to change. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.